I come to another class on sum of an AP. Now, if they ask you to find the sum of an AP, we have two methods, two calculation methods to be used. But now, the first one, the first method I'm going to introduce to you cannot be used by all the calculators, most especially all these cash you, then the one ES plus calculator. But if you are using class week, it will do it straight up. But this cash you, then the one ES plus, because we have a lot of fake of this calculator outside. So it may not be due. An example of one of them is what I have here. So now, this calculator will not do it. So let us see how you can come across that if you are using the same calculator like this. Now they ask you to find the sum of this AP now. Now the first thing you need to observe is that the method we want to do is that press your mode, the press your start, which is number three. You use number two for AP, then let us insert the value given. We are given the first term, the second term, and we are given the third term. Then let's come there. The value of the first term is 2. Press 2 and press equals 2. Second term is 5. Press 5 and press equals 2. Third term is 8. Press 8 and press equals 2. Now press AC. When press AC, we now go to the question, which says, we we'll go to the solution, which says shift this, then press alpha X, then press shift 1. Press your reg, press your y bar, then press alpha close bracket. We are starting from the first one, then press alpha close bracket. We are to submit to the to the world to the twenty term. So that is the process. So that is the process as you can see. X alpha x, the y bar which denotes the value. Don't forget when you are inserting, you use x for term and use y for value. So that is it. Now, when you press your is you press the course to make sure you press the course to twice. And when you observe, the answer we got here is 210. If you use your hand to solve it, the answer is not 210. So this calculator is part of the calculator that has issue with this. So and does not mean a lot of students have such calculator with them. So I cannot use the one that will do it straight. There are some calculator that will do it straight up like this. You are going to have 610. Now, what's that the solution to this? Let's just use another method. The second method is this. Let me reset the calculator. And the second method is you using the n term of an AP. You know, n term of an AP is A plus into bracket n minus 1, close bracket, you have D. But not by D, the common difference. Now, you now press shift this after you reset your calculator. Now, when you press shift this, you come to this place. You have to sum from the first term. So, press 1, then go to this place. We have to sum to the world to the 60 time, uh, to the 20 time rather. Right That's 20 time. Then come inside this box here. When you come inside this box, you now follow this formula. So inside this box, this is what will be in the box. So that means we have A. And A denotes the first time. And what's the first time? It has 2. So press 2 plus into bracket of. We have N. We don't have N on the calculator. So we, we change the word to X. Minus 1, close the bracket. We now have multiply by the common difference. And what's the common difference there? We have it to be 5 minus 2, that's 3. 8 minus 5, that's 3. So the common difference is 3. So press the cost. So can you see? The answer here is 16. This method, this second method I use, can be used for, can be used with any calculator. But the first method I use, there are some calculator that we need to select it. There are some calculator that will not. Uh, that will not obey that one. So, but there are some calculator that will do it straight up for the first method I gave you. Now, first, let's, let's go to the second question. Now, I will use the second method for this one here. So, but before I use the second method, you know the second method requires the first term. So let us go and find the first term. Press your mode. Then press number two. We are given six term in the question. It says the six term is twelve. So come to this place, press 12 and press equals 2. Come to this place. They said the 30th term. 30th term is what? Is 180. So press equals 2. Then press AC. Now if I want to get the first term for this series, I'll press 1. Then press shift this. Then shift 1. Then press your reg. Then go to 5. Now that means the first term of this sequence is minus 3. And minus 23. This is the first term. So I use my calculator to get... The first time, which is minus 23. So with the 
Wait, I can still use it to find the comma difference. Don't forget, I have shift this. You press your reg. You go to two. Two is this. So the common difference is what? It's seven. So I use the calculator while it's starting to find the first time, which is minus 23. And the next one to find what? The common difference. Then I'll press AC. Then set your calculator. Then use the formula that says shift this. You have to sum from the from the first time here. That's one. Then to the what? To the 60 time, according to the question. They now come inside the bracket here. We have the first time, which is minus 23. Then plus, don't forget we are following this formula. Into the bracket of our n, you change to x. Then minus 1, plus the bracket, multiply by the common difference, which is 7. Then press equals 2. Can you see the answer is 11010. Now, don't be deceived by some calculator operators in which they will come with the idea of using the first method i gave you which is this one the first method i gave you something from the first one to maybe maybe the the 20 time you know the first method that we firstly use here now if there are some calculator most especially this from the experience that's why i'm called calculator experts that will not solve using this so that's why but the second method is reliable and it's very very okay so please and please master the first one and the second one but make sure you try the first method first if your calculator is real calculator that can use the first method very well then you are lucky and even if you want to test your calculator as well you can use this to test your calculator when you want to buy it to know if it's real a calculator or not so if you want to test your calculator and you get to where to test the calculator use this sum and the first method so you use the sum with the first method here to check if it gives you the right answer then you know that is the right uh calculator to buy and if it does not then that's wrong but if you have bought the wrong one like the first one that i did here that don't give you the right answer then use the alternative formulas here which is this one and that is how to do that now i hope you've have uh, Launch a lot of things about the sum of an AP, the end sum of an AP to find the term from the previous episode as well. Now, there's a question they normally give something like this. They said, if the sum, you know, SN represents sum, this one is for AP. If this SN is equal to this, what is the 12th term? Now, there's a shortcut formula that says the end term is SN minus SN minus 1. Here's the formula. What am I saying is that if I'm looking for fourth time, fourth time is sum of the fourth time minus sum of the fourth time minus one, and that will be three. That's why this one is n. If n is here, that's four. It's going to be s of four, the minus s of that four minus one. So if I'm looking for the sixth time now, sixth time will now be sum of sixth time minus sum of five times. If I'm looking for tenth time, tenth time will be sum of tenth time minus sum of what? Nine time. Now, if you follow this trend very well, then if I want to find the 12th term for this formula, for this question, it will now be sum of 12th term minus sum of 11th term. Now, so that means if I want to use the formula, it will now be the 12th term will now become, I need to find the sum of 12th term and sum of 11th term. So sum of 12th term, you follow the formula. So anywhere there is n here, you represent it as 12. So it will now be 12, then square, minus 12, plus 1. That's sum of the 12th term. And sum of 11th term will be, so anywhere there is n, you represent it as what? As 11. You follow the equation given to you. That will be 11 squared, minus 11, plus 1. Now, let us press on the calculator. What is the sum of the 12th term here? According to the equation given to you. Now, that will be into bracket. That's 12 squared, minus 12, plus 1, equals 2. The answer is 133. Now, if I'm the examiner and I want to say this option right, I'll put 133 here. Some will put, some will get the answer to be 133 and they will pick 133. But it's not end sum that you found. This one is, when you start straight like this, when you start that 12 straight up like this, it is a sum because the equation given to you is SN, that's sum. But if it is TN, it's not sum, it is end sum. Now, this one is 133. Now, let us solve for the second one, which is into bracket 11. Then all square 
minus 11 plus 1. The answer here is 111. So the answer would that becomes the sum of 12 times, which is 133, minus sum of 11 times, which is 111. Then if you reduct this on the calculator, that's 133 minus 111. The answer is 22. You have the answer to be 22. Now, I believe you've learned something today. So in the next episode, we'll be talking about the geometric progression. Thank you very much for today. God bless you. Now, the comment section, at the comment section, let me know your opinion. Let me know the kind of calculator method that you need. So please like, share, and comment. Share for other people to use as well. Thank you very much. God bless you.